Hi guys, Debbie here. A um, couple of things I want to talk about today. Um, first of all, I want to send out a thank you, and then I want to go over information overload and um, and stalls and uh, progress problems issues um, with questions that I've been getting and um, and some product answers. So let's get started, shall we? First and foremost, I want to send out a huge thank you to um, Joe at Omad Revolution for recommending my channel yesterday on his video. That was so kind of him. And wow, I got a lot of subscribers from his channel today, last night and today. So welcome to all my new subscribers. I, I love you guys. I'm so excited to have you here. And also I want to give a shout out to C-Dub because I've gotten a few subscribers from his channel as well. And what I love about this is that it's not we're not in competition with each other. We're working together. The whole idea is to help as many people as we can. And I mean, I'm an older woman, so I have that perspective. Joe has his perspective. C-Dub has his. So, I mean, I mean, we're all a little bit different and we all um, relate to different age groups and, and different genders. So I, I love that we're all doing this together. I really do. And it, it's such a great community of people that just want to help. And I love being a part of that. So thank you so, so very much to C-Dub and Joe and all of you that have re recently subscribed to my video. Please, please, please let me know if there's um, topics you want me to cover, if there's things that, that you have questions about that maybe I can help answer from an older woman's perspective. I'm happy to do that. Um, and again, thank you so much for subscribing and for watching. I'm, I'm so blessed and, and just so grateful. Thank you again so, so, so much. Um, so the other thing I wanted to touch on is information overload. <laughs> because, Lord, we know, oh my goodness, one person says one thing, another says another, and you could watch, you could literally spend your entire day watching YouTube videos and getting a ton of contradictory information. And I say that because I've done that. <laughs> When I was um, first trying to figure out what to do to start losing this weight and getting a grip on my life, one of the things that I did was start looking online for ideas, for ways to go about losing weight and, and sustaining it the rest of my life, not just fad diets and yo-yo dieting. And oh man, <laughs> YouTube's a beautiful thing, but it's a curse at the same time because there's so much and so many different personalities and so many different viewpoints and so many ways to, to go about things. So um, what I want to say about that is I've narrowed down the people that I watch to five. I have a handful. I have five that I watch faithfully. Joe's at Omad Revolution, number one. I watch every single one of his videos because I love his approach and, and I agree with most of, if not all, of the things that he suggests and the things that he says. C-Dub, also watch all of his. Um, he's He has a, a more animated approach and he's fun to watch. I enjoy his. So I watch him. Um, Fledge Fitness, I watch him. I intermittent, fit, intermittent Fasting and Warrior. Um, and he's got a ton of good information. So it, we what you need to do is is narrow down the people that you relate to or that you can agree with on you know most of what they're saying and that really resonate with you and just watch those folks okay we'll do the research and impart it to you but don't do what i did and and start watching hours upon hours upon hours of youtube videos from all these different people because what ends up happening is you just get information overload and and that is enough at least in my opinion, that is enough to, to stop you dead in your tracks and make you not want to continue, not want, not even want to start. I mean, it gets to the point where you're like frozen, like, I don't even know what to do now because they said to do this and then they said to do that and then they said don't do that. So you get to the point where you're just like, what do I do? <laughs> and you do nothing because it's intimidating and it's overwhelming and and you just don't even know where to begin so you don't begin and i don't want any of us to be there so let's not do that okay let's not do that um the next thing i want to touch on is um somebody sent me a message and asked me if i would do a video on disappointment 
Um, and I assume by disappointment, what she means is she's not making the progress that she wants to or expected to, or maybe she's in a stall. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I went through a plateau where it was like three weeks where I didn't lose anything. I didn't gain, but I didn't lose. And it was really, really frustrating to me. Oh my gosh, it was frustrating. But everybody is different. All of us are different. The things that the thing that you need to really, really, really pay attention to is consistency. As long as you're consistent, even if that scale isn't isn't moving as quickly as you would like it to, or isn't moving at all for that matter, it's all right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Because what's going to happen is you're you're going to get to that point where the scale will start moving again. It will. It just takes time. And the problem is our bodies, they adjust. And we also have our set points for weight, like where our body thinks that we should be and this is a good place to be. And it's much harder to get lower than that. But once you do, then you'll start dropping again. So it's consistency. Don't get so frustrated that you give up because then you're not helping yourself at all. Okay? Then you're going backwards and we don't want you to do that. Um, I created that group. Um, Debbie Omad on Facebook and use that, use that to, to communicate, you know, send messages, let us know, hey, I'm having a stall, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated, I'm disappointed in, in my results so that we can help and be there to support you and to let you know it's okay. We all do. We all go through these, these times where we stall and we plateau and we get frustrated and it's okay. It's normal. It really is normal and it'd be shocking if you didn't have that at some point. Seriously, you wouldn't be normal. So the fact that you're having that problem, don't stress about it. It's okay. It is. It's all right. Um, and the last thing that I want to talk about is um, some products that people ask me about. I don't drink coffee. I know. I know. I'm weird. I've just never acquired a taste for coffee. So I don't drink it. I drink water and I drink a ton of water, but I still need caffeine. So I drink Kick 2 O water, which is caffeine water. It's got 100 megs of caffeine in it, which, yay. <laughs> and I drink this every single morning. It is what I wake up to and it wakes me up. So it's like my favorite thing ever. It's called Kick 2 O. It's got caffeine and electrolytes in it, and it tastes just like water. It doesn't have that chemical weird taste or that, you know, when some caffeine waters have a very weird taste, but this tastes just like water. So I drink this every morning. I drink one bottle every day, and this wakes me up and gets me motivated, gets me moving throughout the day. So um, I highly recommend it. I'll put a link to it below. Um, Amazon. Everything I, I buy back practically is from Amazon, so I'll, I'll put that link below. The other question I have, get all the time, is about apple cider vinegar. There is apple cider vinegar liquid, which um, Bragg's is the best because it's got the mother in it. And if you know anything about apple cider vinegar, you need the mother because that's what actually is good for your body. I take, um, I can't stand the taste, so I take capsules. And I did my research. Trust me, I did my research on the best capsule to get because so many of them don't really have apple cider vinegar in them or they have a bunch of other filler stuff in them and they're garbage so i did my homework and i found one that's good and it's called now brand and it's apple cider vinegar and i take four of these capsules every day before my one meal a day so um, it's, you know, say it's five o'clock, I'm going to sit down and eat. The first thing I do is take four of these and then I start eating. does a couple of things. I'm not tired after I eat it. When I do this, it helps with my digestion. Um, things that, that more information than you probably want, but um, bowel movements are much smoother. Um, I have more energy and I feel better. So this is excellent, excellent, excellent. I'll put a link to this below too. And I'll also link to the uh, Bragg's liquid kind if you don't mind drinking it because that's just, a, that's better for you. I mean, just as good. It's apple cider vinegar and it's great. And the last thing, the last thing I'm going to show you because this is like so exciting to me. My son actually told me about this because somebody told him and that's how we find out about stuff, isn't it? You tell somebody, they tell somebody, they tell some. Well, okay, so that's how I found this. It is called Halo. Halo Top Ice Cream. <laughs> I love ice cream. I'm an ice cream junkie. I always have been. It's called Halo Top Ice Cream. They have all kinds of different flavors. Mine is chocolate. I love chocolate. 320 calories for this entire thing. This is four servings. 
Okay, so it's like, I think it's half a cup is a serving. And look at, half a cup is 80 calories. You've got tw 25 uh, grams of fat, uh, 13 carbohydrates, but you've got dietary fiber, 2 grams, and, and some sugar alcohol, 5 grams. So if you're doing the carb thing, it's way low on carbs. You've got some vitamin A in here, some iron, some calcium. So it's not all bad for you. <laughs> I love this stuff. I can't give up ice cream, so I eat this. Um, I'll eat half a cup, you know, with my meal. And I've been eating this stuff every day because I love ice cream. So, highly recommend it. I, I buy it um, at Amazon because my local grocery store doesn't carry it. It's a little expensive, I'm not going to lie. But it tastes amazing. It tastes like ice cream. You wouldn't know that it was like diet ice cream because it doesn't taste like that. Anyways, I'll put a link to this too down there. So, if there's anything else um, that you... Want me to research to find the best product? I'm so good at that. That's something that I've always done for my whole life is research. So if there's anything that, that you want me to find the best of, let me know. Happy to do that for you. Uh, also, the uh, one last thing I wanted to say is um, when I set up my Facebook group, Debbie Omad, I messed up. I'm sorry. I made it pu public instead of private. And apparently Facebook has a rule that you can only change that setting once every 28 days. I didn't know that. So I have to wait until April 1st to be able to change that setting to private. But I'm going to do that. So if you join my Facebook um, group, Debbie Omad, understand that right now it is public, but I'm changing it so it'll be private after April 1st. And again, I'm sorry. This is all about living and learning and... <laughs> I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. Um, and I appreciate your patience. I do as I learn. One last thing. One last thing. The experiment that I'm doing on myself. Um, you all know I cut back on carbs um, because I thought that was what, what caused my stall. Well, it's not. Duh. But I'm going to take OMAD, um, OMAD Revolution Joe's advice and I'm going to eat normal. I'm going to eat normal, you guys, and I have been all week. When I say eat normal, I mean I'm not, I'm not worrying about carbs. I'm not worrying. I'm not worrying. I'm just not worrying. Um, <laughs> so I had pizza on Monday. Yes, I did. Regular, regular pizza. It was meat lovers pizza, in fact, and it was good. Okay, so um, I had that Monday night, I guess it was. Um, Tuesday, I had... Um, I had ribeye steak with baked potato, broccoli with cheese sauce, and um, <laughs> hello ice cream. Um, <laughs> Wednesday, I had hello ice cream and um, <laughs> mashed potatoes with hamburger and um, corn. And let's see, uh, today I am having taco salad. So I'm not counting carbs at all, at all, at all, at all, at all. I'm just not. I'm doing the one plate thing that Joe at Omad Revolution does because I believe in that and I think that makes oh, makes perfect sense. So I am doing the one plate thing and I'm trying to keep kind of tabs on my calories. I'm not like going crazy, but I'm trying to keep tabs on it. But I'm figuring one plate a day, I, I'm in my cab window. I'm okay with that. My carb, I'm sorry, calorie window. Gosh, if I could talk. Um, calorie window, so that, so I'm not like being anal about it, but I am paying attention to it. Okay, I'm paying attention to it. But, um, so yeah, every day I have half a cup of this. I do, I do. Um, <laughs> um, that's my, that's my, um, Achilles heel, if you will. But anyway, anyway, so we're going to see what that means at the end of the week on Monday when I do my weigh-in. That's the experiment to see if doing what Joe says and, and doing it to the letter works for everyone, right? Well, nothing works for everyone, but see if it works for me because I've always thought that my body doesn't process carbs well and that that's why I couldn't lose weight. So that could have been a lie I was telling myself, which we all have those that we convince ourselves of and it's not true. So I'm going to try and find out if I'm one of those people. <laughs> and I very well may be because I'm feeling pretty good. Um, but I'm not going to get on the scale until Monday. I believe in the weigh-in every Monday. So I, that's what I'm going to do. And we'll find out if not cutting carbs at all all makes a difference or not okay so love y'all talk to you soon i'll have another video probably before monday but 
Worst case scenario, it'll be on Monday. Drop me some comments, some suggestions on videos or topics you want me to cover, because I'm happy to do that. And share your stories. Love to hear where you're at, what your successes are, as well as your struggles. Talk soon. Bye.